Here at Northwest Florida State College, we are moving the community forward through performers, innovators, leaders, and hometown heroes. Want to be a champion? The best is our standard. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of President Dr. Devin Stevenson and Athletic Director Ramsey Ross, we would like to welcome you to the 2023 FCSAA Region 8 State Championships. Tonight's matchup features the Eagles of Tallahassee Community College and the Raiders of Northwest Florida State College. Now, let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's contest. First, for the Raiders of Northwest Florida State College. At guard, number two, Marcus Nyblack. At guard, number three, Taryn Todd. At forward, at number four, Chad Baker Mazzara. At forward, at number five, Jalen McDaniel. And at forward, at number 42, Kason Pryor. The head coach for the Northwest Florida State Raiders, Steve DeMeo. And now the starting lineup for the Eagles of Tallahassee Community College. At forward at number zero, Oki Tukwu OKK. At forward, Number one, Tom Mark. At guard, number three, Isaiah Kathy. At guard, number 10, Damani Harrison. And at guard, number 21, Addison Patterson. And the head coach for the Eagles, Mr. Rick Cabrera. As we welcome everyone to Raider Arena here in Niceville, Florida, we await the tip off. I'm here with my guy, Mike Rideout on my right. Yes, sir. Sitting to my left, R.J. Murdoch on the ones and twos. <laughs> As we bring you the action, Tallahassee Community College, the Eagles, facing on Northwest Florida State College, the Raiders. Mike, Mike is our information guy. What do you got for us? Lay it on me. Well, this is a matchup of the number three seed Tallahassee Eagles and the number four seed Northwest Florida State Raiders. Despite the fact that Tallahassee is seeded higher, they have actually lost two out of three against Northwest Florida State. The fourth game, fourth meeting between these two teams this year. The tip is up and it's won by the Raiders. Taron Todd to bring the ball across the half. Kaysen Pryor with the ball up top. The ball goes over to J-Mac. CBZ with the ball on the perimeter.
four seconds on the shot clock. As Todd puts up a three. His shot is no good. Rebounded by Kathy. This is going to be a good matchup. I think so, too. Northwest Florida State had a 20-point lead against Indian River in one of the more exciting games of this tournament as they were able to win in a shootout, 106 to 105 and in the quarterfinals. On that last Raider possession, I'm sorry, the last Tallahassee Eagle possession, OKK with a nice little touch off the backboard. He had seven points, a rebound, or three rebounds, an assist and a steal in 20 minutes of action against Eastern Florida. Six points, four blocks against Florida Southwestern. I like this matchup inside OKK, the yeah. strength and size of OKK. Matched up with J-Mac. And then you got Scheider to come behind it. You also have Pryor with the length. Pryor, first team All-State. Addison Patterson going to be a great matchup. First team All-State selection as well. Yeah. I believe you'll see a bird come in, and he'll probably get the assignment of Patterson with his length. Pryor with the dribble, kicks it over to the corner. Todd back to Chad baker Mazal. He steps to the corner, pulls a three. His shot is no good, rebounded by Pryor. Pryor putting it on the floor. Spins and puts it back up. Pryor, 6'10", being held in the paint by six-foot Kathy. First team, all Panhandle Conference selection, averaged almost 15 points a game, had 16 against Indian River. 11 and 37 minutes against Chipola. Actually struggled from the floor, was three of 11, so good to see him get off to a good start here. Three-pointer up and no good by Damani Harrison. Raiders with the rebound. Nye Black pushes it across the half. Ball goes to the corner, three double T. Dribble drive, he pumps it and goes up. Ball goes across. Rebounded by Jalen McDaniels as he flushes it home. He did not score against Chipola, so that might get him off to a good start. Ball goes inside. Oh, nice block by Chad Baker Mazzaro. Addison Patterson not too happy with the. Yeah, he was wanting a foul. Fire from the corner, three pointer up and good. Raiders off to a pretty quick start. 7-2 right now over Tallahassee. Panhandle Conference Player of the Year, Pryor. We've come into effect for the Eagles. Patterson trying to get into the paint. Oh, and that would be a block called on Taryn Todd. We'll check out the replay. See Addison Patterson with the dribble drive. Dips the shoulder a bit. Hmm. I don't know. It looked a little to me like three double T was there. Could have been a makeup call. And prior, or uh, Addison was one of the foul call before. Yeah. On that last play, like yeah. you said, he could have been the makeup call as he put up the bucket on this end. Patterson misses, rebounded by the Raiders. McDaniel comes to set the screen. He rolls inside. Ball up top to Pryor from Mazzara. Pryor playing with the dribble. Takes a couple of steps inside of Jalen McDaniel. Ball goes up. Rebounded. Bucket is good by Kaysen Pryor. Quick start right now for the Raiders. Nine to two, seven point lead over Tallahassee. Three and a half minutes gone by. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with the action. All right, chat. I think that's going to be the end for tonight's stream. Sorry to cut everything pretty short, but I have a meeting with my academic advisor in the morning. Wait, you're starting classes? Yeah. I actually got accepted to Northwest Florida State College. I started their cybersecurity program in the fall. There's actually a lot you'd be interested in. They have a program where you can actually learn how to fly that drone your mom bought you. Oh, I can't afford that. It's only $104 per credit hour. You won't find a better deal than that. Here, so call this number and they'll actually help you with everything. 
as we welcome you right back, we get a look at the president sitting in the stands enjoying this championship game. Tallahassee with the ball, Kathy with it in the corner. Ball goes up top to Patterson. The screen from Damani Harrison. Patterson kicks the ball to the corner. That will be Tom Mark with the missed three. Jalen McDaniel goes up. OKK oh, with the rejection. Nice pass inside. Tom Mark with the flush on the, as you see right here with the replay, pass given by Damani Harrison as Mark goes up and flushes that thing home. He only had four points against Florida Southwestern, but he came back with 17 points and eight boards. He was five of six from the floor against Eastern Florida State. Nye Black's three will be off the mark. OKK with the ball inside. He'll be fouled by Chad Baker Mazzara. Sophomore has a ton of high major interest. He's ranked 15th in the JUCO recruiting player rankings. Sophomore from East Chicago. And McDaniel leaking. Hmm. He caught it a uh, little blow to the face. I, I saw him reaching down here. But as you see him in the tunnel down there, bent over, coaches are saying you got blood stains on the floor. Yeah, a quick stoppage in play so they can clean it up a little bit. As you saw when the action was back on the offensive end for the Raiders. McDaniel had went up for the rebound. I believe it was at that point he had got hit in the face, hit with the, you know, he already has the mask on. Yeah. As you see him in the tunnel, well, we can see him in the tunnel. There's a look at the Tallahassee bench. Rick Cabrera, the head coach of the Eagles, they went on a 20 game winning streak from November to January. Cabrera, their head coach, an assistant in Division I for 13 years before going to Tallahassee. There's the Raiders bench. As you see the floor crew working diligently to get these stains up. Back to OKK though. Florida Southern, six points, four blocks, two rebounds and 22 minutes of action. Seven points, an assist, a steal, three rebounds, and 20 minutes of action. So he affects the game in a number of different ways. Uh, Transfer from my, my young guys. There's more to the game than just putting it, putting points on yeah, the board. Yeah, and especially if you're struggling struggling offensively. He said defense wins wins championships. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off, Mike. That's okay. I was just going to say that he transferred from Tyler Junior College in Texas. He averaged 10 points and six boards. That's his third point of this first half. But you can always play defense when you're struggling on offense. And sometimes defense leads to offense. Speaking of Tyler Junior College, I'll give a shout out to my son, who also attended Tyler Junior College. Okay, nice. A little shout out to EJ. Raiders, Marcus Nyblack with the ball. Trying to get the Raiders in the half court set. Ball skipped across. Takai Simpkins will be called for the travel. Official timeout, Official timeout on the floor. Three point advantage, Northwest over Tallahassee. Nine to six, 14.56 left in this first half. We'll be right back after the break. So how can I help you today? I'm looking to be a new student here, and I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your campus. Here at Northwest Florida State College, it's our mission to make sure that you have all the tools and resources you need to succeed. Don't take my word for it, though. We can go ahead and go for a tour and check it out. Yeah, let's do it. This is the Raider Arena. This is where you're going to be sitting when you earn your degree and you come to graduation. We proudly use the name Raiders to give tribute to the Doolittle Raiders who trained at Eglin Air Force Base 
So what do you think? Are you ready to be a Raider? Yep, I'm excited. As we welcome you back to Raider Arena, we get a look at the fans behind us. Looking at a little bit of the stats right now. Points in the paint, a little bit even, 4-4, both teams. Northwest ahead with six points of second chance points. TCC with four points. Fast break points, four to nothing. In a bench points right now, 0-0, zero, zero, but Malachi Davis really gives this Eagles team a lift when he comes off the bench. And he is, is that him in there now? Yes, up top with the ball. Yeah, there he is, okay. Just wanna make sure. Right now, OKK, Mark, Harrison, Davis, and Patterson in the game for the Eagles. Nye Black. Baker, Mazzara, Simpkins, Banks, and Pryor in for the Raiders. Two-point bucket good for the Eagles, Addison Patterson. Ranked number seven in Juco. Best playmaker on the team. Wingman from Canada. Simpkins with the dribble drive gets a foot into the lane. He'll kick it back out. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Pryor diving the lane. He loses the possession. Patterson pushing the issue down the opposite way, and he'll be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Second foul on Baker Mazzara. Still with 14.02 to play in the half. He's yet to score. Pretty sure Coach DeMayo will get him out of the game here shortly. Patterson at 26, uh, 20 points, six rebounds, five assists, three steals against Florida Southwestern in 37 minutes of action, 17 points against Eastern Florida State. Started his career at Oregon. Patterson will go one for two at the line. And as I said just a second ago, Mazzara substitute out of the game. You see Bird checking in. Anxious to see if Bird will have the defensive assignment of Patterson. As Takai Simpkins gets into the paint. He goes up and under with the little layup. And there it is, Bird on Patterson. Patterson calling for the screen, and Black ends up with the turnover. And Banks goes up. Patterson will foul him from behind. Banks trying to flush it home. Nye Black had eight assists against Indian River. Almost got one there. Patterson to pick up his first personal foul. His first, the team's first. First book it for Tavion Banks is no good. One of the spark plugs for this team. Had a career high 31 points in their last conference game against Gulf Coast. Banks, a freshman, 13 points, eight rebounds, five assists, six steals against Indian River. How about that stat line? And to keep it going, one for two from the free throw line right here. Substitution for the Raiders as three double T comes into the game. And Marcus Nyblack will go to the bench. Skip pass almost lost out of bounds for the Eagles. Patterson will pull up the three. Shot no good. Rebound by Simpkins as he pushes the flow up the court. Gets the ball across the half. Simpkins call it. Excuse me, Coach. Tallahassee looking for their first state championship since 2000. 23 years. Mm. Northwest Florida won it in 2018 and 2019. I was say, they had two of them recently. Yeah. 
Three seconds on the shot clock. Pryor with the three attempt. His shot is no good. Rebounded by Bird. You see a lot of players, when, when a guy jumps on you, they don't follow through. Oh. Right there, Takai Simpkins, not accounting for the length of Raekwon Taylor, 6'8", sophomore of Montgomery, Alabama. But I, I really feel like the trajectory, right, the trajectory of the ball would be better if you have that follow through, and you might even get fouled. Yeah. Oh, Taylor's got to look up. Tom Mark was down the floor by himself behind the Raider defense. As your guy, Malachi Davis, pulls the three, he's not able to hit. Rebound by Trayvon Bird. Bird hits Simpkins in the corner. Simpkins dribble drive. Taron Todd in the paint, kicks it back out to Bird. Bird with the little runner. His bucket is good. That's his first two of the game. He's their spark plug. Bird to hold Malachi Davis. Davis with a kiss off the glass. His bucket is good. Well, he has scored 39 points in two games off the bench in this tournament. Sophomore from Toronto, Canada. And he came to play, eh? Hey. Three double T gets two feet in the paint. He's fouled. That will be on J.P. Ricks, his first personal. That'll be the second team foul for the Tallahassee Eagles. Simpkins to inbound. Taryn Todd received the inbound pass. High screen, ball passed over to Kaysen Pryor. Shot is up, no good. Tom Mark really gets off the ground, man. Yeah. Tom Marks guys and grabs the rebound. Malachi Davis with the shift. Gets Pryor up in the air. His bucket is good inside the paint. I really like the way he plays. Transferred from Lakeland Community College in Illinois. He averaged 16 points per game there. He's had multiple 20 plus point performance for that. Can't even talk tonight. Plus performances coming off the bench. He's ranked 86th in the JUCO player rating. Raiders swinging the ball around the perimeter, loosening up the interior. Todd will pull the three. His shot is good. That's his first points. 17 to 12. Halfway through the first half. As Davis will get into the lane. Mm. Shot is up. Bucket is no good. Foul on Bird. That'll be Trayvon Bird's first personal as you check the replay out. I like how he strides out. Goes up strong with yeah. him. Timeout called on the floor. Northwest Florida 17, Tallahassee 12. We will return after the break. All right, chat, I think that's gonna be the end for tonight's stream. Sorry to cut everything pretty short, but I have a meeting with my academic advisor in the morning. Wait, you're starting classes? Yeah, I actually got accepted to Northwest Florida State College. I started their cybersecurity program in the fall. There's actually a lot you'd be interested in. They have a program where you can actually learn how to fly that drone your mom bought you. Oh, I can't afford that. It's only $104 per credit hour. You won't find a better deal than that. Here, so call this number and they'll actually help you with everything. As we welcome you back to Raider Arena, we get a look at a couple of fans in the house. Shots given you by R.J. Murdoch. Great job this week, R.J. As you get a look at Coach DeMeo in the Raiders huddle. Congratulations to Coach. He was inducted into the FCSAA Hall of Fame, along with Coach Schulman of Eastern Florida State. Two coaches, two great teams, two great careers. Yeah. 
What a legacy. Right now, looking at points in the paint, both teams even. Points off of turnovers, TCC with two points off turnovers, Northwest with one off the turnovers. How about 11 rebounds, though, for the Raiders? They've out-rebounded them 11 to 5. Right now, both teams shooting in the 40s. 43.8 for Northwest Florida from the field. 45.5 for Tallahassee. And Davis has already gotten more points for Tallahassee, and he's done it off the bench. Five points for Davis. Leading scorer for the Eagles right now. Second free throw is no good. Prior, the leading scorer on the floor with seven. Raiders swinging the ball around the perimeter. Gets the ball inside. Pryor goes up as he slams it home. That's already nine points for the Panhandle Conference Player of the Year. Mm. Malachi Davis running across the lane from right to left. Comes with the right-hand runner. He's got a lot of mid-major interest from Division I schools. You just said, and I have to agree with you, Mal. I love his game. Yeah. Tenacious D attacks on the offensive end. He can handle the ball. He can shoot. Yes. Three-pointer by Nyblack up and no good. Rebounded by Patterson. Gives it up to Malachi Davis. Davis gets into the lane. Kicks it outside. Three-point attempt up and no good. Raekwon Taylor with the rebound. Kicks it over to Patterson. Patterson gets it back inside to Taylor. He goes up. Again, Taylor 6'8". Nye Black got caught up on the miss on the screen. So Nye Black again, six feet tall. Sorry, 6'2". Six, 6'2 two. Six, two on 6'8". First points for Taylor. Banks gets the ball inside. He goes up. Not able to connect. He gets his own rebound. Comes on the opposite side of the rim. Tavion Two points Banks. for Tavion Banks. Pass goes to the corner. Back up top to Patterson. Patterson to get into the lane. Kicks it over to Malachi. J.P. Ricks with the three attempt. That rolls around and drops. 21 to 20. Northwest Florida. Freshman from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That's the guy that scored 3,000 points and won a couple of state championships in high school and also won state titles in track as a sprinter. He said 3,000 points and what was it, rebounds also? No, 3,000 points, but he also won state championships as well. Okay. As Addison Patterson gets down the floor into the paint, gives Tallahassee the lead. Our first lead change. 22-21. Tallahassee Eagles over a second lead change. Second. Over the Raiders. Here's the matchups this year. I mentioned Tallahassee's one and two against Northwest Florida. They beat them the first time, 76-68 on the road on January the 11th. Lost at home on January the 25th, 69-67. And then they lost on the road on February the 15th, 63-61. So two of the three games were decided by two points. Tough matchup. Yeah. Like you said, these teams somewhat familiar with each other. Well, they're both from the Panhandle Conference. They all, they both tied. There were three teams that tied in the Panhandle Conference. Northwest Florida State, Tallahassee, and Chipola. All tied with nine and three marks in league play. So this being the fourth matchup. Fourth matchup, yeah. It's when you have to make little minor tweaks to adjust your game. That way the other, the, the opposing team won't know everything that you do. Tallahassee looking for their fourth state Shider. title. Oh, Shider call for the charge. We'll look at the replay. Shider 6-7. Six, six, 
as J.P. Rick stands in there and takes it. Rick standing 5'11". Mm. I like the sacrifice of the body. Yeah, me too. Ball goes down into the paint, stolen by the Raiders. Banks get a hand on it. Takes the pass away. Nye Black trying to penetrate to get into the paint as Taryn Todd gets in with the left-hand floater. His bucket is good. Todd with five points now here in this first half. First team, all Panhandle Conference. He was a Division I transfer from TCU and the University of New Mexico. Patterson getting into the lane. He'll go up. Blocking call will be called on Scheider. Scheider should have just stayed there. As you see right here, Scheider had position, but at the last minute, turns and steps away. Patterson will go to the line to shoot two. Patterson played for Team Canada last summer in the World Games. He's got five here in the half. We're tied again. Second, second time. Fourth lead change. Fourth or fifth lead change. I'm sure we're going to have quite a few. We did it in the last game, too. Congratulations to Eastern Florida State women. They Great. won their first state title. Great game by both bunches. Northwest put up a fight until the end. Three-pointer by Taryn Todd is up and good. Todd off to a great start. He's hit two threes. He's got eight points. As you said earlier, there'll be plenty of lead changes in this game. Oh, as he, Malachi Davis gets into the paint, he's called for the travel. Sliding the pivot foot. Nye Black to inbound. Ball goes to Pryor. Pryor brings the ball across the half. Back up to Nye Black. Nye Black directing traffic, trying to get the proper set for this offensive possession. Swinging the ball around the perimeter, softening up the interior D. Banks with the ball inside, back to Nye Black. Nye Black goes up as he will get the two-point bucket. And he gets his first two of the game. Had 11 against Indian River, 12 against Chipola. He's also a Division I transfer from East Tennessee State University. That will be the sixth assist for the Raiders as Patterson weaves his way inside the paint. Goes up and gets a nice little right-hand layup. Again, Taryn Todd at the point, directing traffic. Getting this guy set up where they need to be. Nye Black gets the ball inside. It'll be a kick ball. I mentioned Nye Black with eight assists against Indian River. He's had two games where he's had 10 or more in a game. Time out on the floor. Tallahassee, Northwest Florida 28, Tallahassee 26. We'll be right back after the break. Here at Northwest Florida State College, we are moving the community forward through performers, innovators, leaders, and hometown heroes. Want to be a champion? The best is our standard. As we welcome you back, get a good look, you see the president sitting enjoying the entertainment he and his wife right now trying to handle a little business in this is a, a well-run event 
they do a great job of hosting this tournament. Great job. As you see right to the side, a little bit up, the former president sitting from Dr. Richburg. You'll find a lot of great entertainment in this building. We've also seen a lot of Division One, Division Two coaches here scouting. Yes, sir. A lot of talent in the house the yeah. past couple of days. We said conference championship game right now, but this whole tournament was packed full of talent. Each team had at least two, three players that can go on to the next level. Yeah, and, so, and a lot of players, I'd like to know, but there's probably at least 25, 30 players who have transferred in from Division I schools. Coming to this level, yes. Yeah. Tells you something about these programs. To go from a D1 program to come down to the JUCO, let you know the JUCO has to be able to do something. Mm -hmm. Ball inside to Banks. He spins, gets it back out to Chad Baker Mazzara. He's got Patterson on him. He'll put the ball up as he's fouled. That foul will be on Isaiah Cathy. He'll pick up his first personal. Cathy, the only returning player from last year's roster. Well, Baker Mazzara picked up his second foul at the 14.02 mark. He has yet to score in the game. There it is. Chad Baker Mazar awaits the second shot. At San Diego State, he was the Mountain West Conference sixth man of the year. Two for two from the line. As the Raiders drop back into their man to man defense, you hear the crowd chanting for defense. Oh, as Kathy will throw it away. Ball out of bounds to the Raiders. Taryn Todd plays with the dribble. He's got a little foul on his arm as he made the pass, but no call. Nye Black with the skip to the corner. Prior, the shot fake, and then he pulls the second attempt. Rebounded by Kathy. <laughs> As Kathy is called for the travel, tried to make the pass. No one there. He grabbed it himself. What would happen if you just kind of bounce it off your head, you know? You can't well, get called for a travel for that. If he'd have made the pass, jumped in the air, caught it, and then passed it. And then again. passed it, yeah, right. Taryn Todd with the ball across the half, past the nine black over to Baker Mazzara. Pryor with the skip pass up to Nye Black. Swinging it around the perimeter. Pryor with the corner three, no good, but Nye Black with the tip, put what back. A, man, what a tip there by Nye Black. He really got up on that As one. As you see on the replay right, yes, he really skied to go get that one. He's 6-2. Went up over Banks, his own teammate. As Addison Patterson drives to the baseline, he gets the put bucket. Tip. And it puts him in double figures with 10. Chad Baker Mazar out of the corner. Three pointer is good. Tallahassee quick to inbound, trying to hurry up and get the ball up the floor. Kathy with a three of his own. His three is good. You see on the replay, nice splash from the top of the key. Taryn Todd gets inside. Oh, nice block by OKK. Eagles push the ball up the floor. Quickly 
get the ball up to Monty Harrison with the two-point bucket. Celebrated his 19th birthday yesterday. It's his oh. first two. Got to go meet every pass. Chad Baker Mazar just watching the pass come to him. Addison Patterson trying to run through it. Ball will be out of bounds on the sideline. Raiders ball. Timeout on the floor. 35-33. Northwest over Tallahassee. We'll return after the break. So how can I help you today? I'm looking to be a new student here, and I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your campus. Here at Northwest Florida State College, it's our mission to make sure that you have all the tools and resources you need to succeed. Don't take my word for it, though. We can go ahead and go for a tour and check it out. Yeah, let's do it. We proudly use the name Raiders to give tribute to the Doolittle Raiders who trained at Eglin Air Force Base. With the support and resources that we provide, our students can confidently walk through these halls knowing that they're forging their own legacy. Are you ready to be a Raider? Yep, I'm excited. As we welcome you back to the action, 35-33, Florida, Northwest Florida over Tallahassee Eagles. Enjoying the, uh, the music here in the arena tonight. Oh yeah, they're giving you a little bit of everything. Yep, got some old school LL Cool J there. Yeah, DJ is keeping us all rocking. But I know that the older folks sometimes complain, right? <laughs> they have to. Yeah. Mazzara trying to get the ball to the inside as he posts up Trey Cathy, kisses it off the glass, two-point bucket good. He'll go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. At seven points in two and a half minutes. After leaving the floor with 14 minutes to play in the half with two fouls and no points, he knocked down two free throws with 4.26 to play in the half. And now about to lead his team, close to leading his team in scoring. As Chad Baker Mazzara connects for the three-point play. He's got eight, one point behind Pryor with nine. As Baker Mazzara goes to the bench, Bird will come in. Simpkins in the game. As now you see the Raiders little half court press. Oh, Bird will be called for the reach. That'll be hit. His second personal. That will send the Eagles to the line. Shooting one and one until the end of this half. Kathy, sophomore from Memphis, Tennessee. Played for Penny Hardaway in high school. Free throw no good, but Simpkins grabs the rebound and he comes down out of bounds. Ball will be turned over back to the Eagles. Pryor defending the inbound from Kathy. Kathy gets it in to Addison Patterson as he pulls the three from the corner over Taryn Todd stretched in. Three pointers good, 38-35. Tallahassee down three. Taryn Todd caught up at the half. So he gets the ball out. Fire with the pass over to Bird. Banks with it on the baseline. Kicked, oh! Takai Simpkins got away with the travel right there. The Eagles get the ball, trying to get the ball down court, inside to the paint. Mm. Nice flush. That was a little excessive on that it, rim right it, there. It was, yeah. If you're going to shake and bake like that, wait till you hit the floor. Yeah. Don't do it on the iron. You get a technical. As OKK slams it home. Whistle on the play. Official having a word with OK, OKK. About that yeah. hanging on the rim, yes. He came very close to getting teed up. That foul will be called on Malachi Davis, his first personal.
Inbound to Todd. One point advantage, 35 seconds left in the half. Watch for Baker Mazzara, they checked him back in. Looking for the three probably. Oh, foul as Taron Todd tries to get into the lane. Anderson gonna pick up his, no, actually that's gonna be on Kathy. Yeah, Kathy picks up, yes, his second foul. Kai Simpkins, the inbound from the baseline. Ball goes up top to Taron Todd. He gets two feet in the lane, turns, kicks it to Pryor. Pryor will put it on the floor, gets inside. His shot is rejected by OKK. But Pryor will be going to the line to shoot two. Davis picks up his second foul. As you see right here on the replay, Malachi reaching in, getting more than just ball there. Pryor takes his time at the line. His usual one dribble goes up. Shot is good. 39-37. Twenty-one point five left in this first half. Pryor with one free throw to go. Pryor had a game high thirty points at nationally ranked Indian Hills. Second shot is up and good. You may be able to hear that fan that wants to count out the ten seconds as Pryor is on the line. And like I say he likes to take his time. Eagles with the skip pass, goes to the corner and comes back out. Damani Harrison shoots the air ball. 9.1 left as you see Chad Beckham Mazar running to the bench, he had, running to the table trying to check in. He had checked out for defensive purposes, don't want to pick up that third foul. He's exactly. checking back in for offensive purposes. Three point threat. The officials having a Discussion with the table. I think Pryor may have uh, got a cut on him as well. Pryor to inbound. Chad Baker Mazar with the ball, kicks it across to Marcus Nyblack. Taron Todd from the corner. Three pointer is up. No good. Rebounded by the Eagles as the buzzer sounds. That will do it for the first half. Northwest Florida State College 40, Tallahassee Community College 37. We will be back after the half. See you then. All right, Chad, I think that's gonna be the end for tonight's stream. Sorry to cut everything pretty short, but I have a meeting with my academic advisor in the morning. Wait, you're starting classes? Yeah. I actually got accepted to Northwest Florida State College. I started in their cybersecurity program in the fall. There's actually a lot you'd be interested in. They have a program where you can actually learn how to fly that drone your mom bought you. Oh, I can't afford that. It's only $104 per credit hour. You won't find a better deal than that. Here, so call this number and they'll actually help you with everything.
at Northwest Florida State College, we are moving the community forward through performers, innovators, leaders, and hometown heroes. Want to be a champion? The best is our standard. As we welcome you back, get a good look at the uh, scoreboard, showing you the stats of the evening. And just so we can get a stat correct, I need to correct the mistake I made. At the very beginning, when the game first started, I said that Tallahassee had not won a state championship since 2000. It was actually Eastern Florida State that had not won 2000. since 2000. 2011 was the last state championship for Tallahassee. My apologies. They're looking for their fourth state title. They also won it in 2006 and 1997. I wrote it down wrong. That's all right. Again, like I said, you have all the info. <laughs> I love it. Eagles to inbound. Kathy with the ball up top. Tom Martin looking inside. Nothing available. Ball goes back to Kathy. A high screen coming. Ball to the corner of the... Mark, as he gets a step on, wow. Mark gets a quick step on Pryor. Pryor chasing him down, fouls from behind. Case and Pryor picking up his first foul. We will have a new champion on the men's side this year, though. By the way, that's the third tie of this game. Mark now with five points. That Chipola was the two-time defending state champion. Three ties, five lead changes. Oh, as Mazzara puts a little too much on that pass, it goes out of bounds. Wow, looking at these numbers, TCC with six fast break points. Yeah, 10-2 Northwest Florida State in second chance points. Both teams made 15 shots from the field in the first half, but Northwest Florida State made four threes. Tallahassee made two, and also Northwest Wade made one more free throw. So you just spoke on the second chance points. Northwest with 16 first half rebounds. Baker Mazzara in double figures now with 11. That's his second three of the game. As OKK flushes it home on the opposite end. But Northwest with 16 rebounds, six of those coming on offensive end. Tallahassee with 11 rebounds with only one offensive rebound. Killing their second chance opportunities. Yeah, that's right. Last game of this tournament, our last game of the night. Turning out to be a great one, just like we expected. 43-42, one point ball game. Again, Mike, this may be one that goes down to the wire. Just like the women's game, came down the last couple of minutes. Nice little elbow jumper by OKK. He's got 10. That's more than he, has, he had scored in the previous two games of this tournament. Ball working around the perimeter for the Raiders. Three double T with it. Kicks it to the corner to Chad Baker Mazzara who hits banked. Cutting to the rim. He'll be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. First foul on Mark. You see the replay. 
Addison Patterson just fell asleep. His man driving to the lane. OKK okay, fouled him to prevent the two-point bucket. I'm sorry, Tom Mark. Banks' first shot is up and good. Tie ball game. Four, paint, uh, four points now for Banks. Averaged eight points a game. 13, though, eight rebounds against Indian River. 14 and seven against Chipola. Two for two from the line. Giving the Raiders a one point lead. Ball outside to Damani Harrison. Addison Patterson, oh, that's an uh, extra step there. No whistle. Patterson goes baseline. Tries to kick the ball across the lane, but he'll lose the possession. Ball passed up front to Banks. He'll swing it outside. Swung across the court to Pryor. Three-point bucket is good for Kaysen Pryor. That's his second three ball of the night. Panhandle Conference Player of the Year with 14 points. That leads all scores. Patterson at the top of the key, kicking inside to OKK. As he'll go up, he'll miss his shot. Ball will be deflected out of bounds. It will remain Raider ball. Raiders the four seed, Eagles the three seed. Top two seeds were beaten. Making these the top two seeds. Yeah. The Tallahassee top, becomes number one. Top seed was Chipola beaten by Northwest Florida yesterday, 61-55. The number two seed, it was uh, Daytona State. They were beaten, upset by Eastern Florida State, which the is first the seventh night. seed. Yes. That was the first upset of the tournament. Yeah. No, no, the, the, well, ladies, the, the ladies had the first upset. Yeah. My, my correction. Yeah. First upset of the men's tournament. Well, first game, too. Oh, as Malachi Davis works out a little bit on Nye Black. Nye Black will draw the Davis will draw the foul on Nye Black. Nye Black's first personal foul. I mean, I'd like to see all the teams in the Sunshine State who's better of a six man than he is. He's got 10. Free throw is good for Davis. Pryor kicks the ball to the corner. CBZ drops the three. That's quickly two threes for him. The first, uh, the, remember how we talked about the most important minutes, the last four minutes of a half? And the or uh, the first four minutes of a half in the last four minutes. Yes. Oh, well, well poked by Nye Black. He had eight points in the last four and a half minutes. He's got six here in the first four minutes. Wow. Nice rebound by Damani Harrison as he goes up to get that right by himself. 49-51. Banks with the ball up top. Gets around OKK. Goal 10 will be called. OKK okay, got a piece of it after it hit the backboard. Yeah. Seven, be seven for Banks. 53-49. Right under 15 minutes left in this second half. Official timeout on the floor. We will be back after the break. 
All right, chat, I think that's gonna be the end for tonight's stream. Sorry to cut everything pretty short, but I have a meeting with my academic advisor in the morning. Wait, you're starting classes? Yeah, I actually got accepted to Northwest Florida State College. I started in their cybersecurity program in the fall. There's actually a lot you'd be interested in. They have a program where you can actually learn how to fly that drone your mom bought you. Oh, I can't afford that. It's only $104 per credit hour. You won't find a better deal than that. Here, so call this number and they'll actually help you with everything. As you get a good look at the lady, some of the lady Raiders, as they got second place in the tournament this evening. Sitting here trying to support their guys, hoping that they can bring a championship back to Niceville, Florida. And we talked about the fact that they could see each other, them and Eastern Florida State again in the national tournament. That was a matchup of two of the top six teams in the country. So Northwest Florida State will get an at-large bid. Lady Raiders 25 and four on the year. Congratulations again to MJ Baker and the Lady Titans. They are now 31 and one. Their only loss coming to a team from Alabama. They've won 15 in a row heading into the national tournament. Great job by Eastern Florida. Also a great job of shooting by Tallahassee tonight. 65% in the first half. They're already five for their first 10, 50% here in the second half. Although Northwest Florida State, even though they were slightly under 50%, they haven't missed a shot here in the second half, including three of three behind the arc. So right now for the game, Tallahassee shooting 60.6, .6, Northwest Florida 54.3. Both teams shooting well. In these past five minutes, Tallahassee has went on a uh, six, uh, a five-point run with points off of turnovers. As Patterson gets into the lane, he's not able to connect. Rebound comes off. He'll go back up, up and under, and his bucket is good. That's his first two of the second half. 14 points for Addison Patterson, ranked seventh in Juco. Yeah, I was just saying a second ago how Tallahassee has taken off with the points off of turnovers, also points in the paint. They've picked up eight points in those past five minutes in the paint. Yeah. Tallahassee coming alive right now. Still down by two. And if they score here, this will be our fifth tie. Seven lead changes. Like you say, looking for the fifth tie ball deflected by Bird, but Patterson to grab the rebound. Oh, Patterson knocks down the jumper. You say the fifth tie. But Patterson knocks down the jumper over the outstretched hands of Banks. Three double T trying to get into the lane. He gets down to the corner, dribbles back up top to CBZ. Patterson all over him. Oh, Mazzara with behind the back dribble. Oh, pulls up, and he will draw the foul. That will be on Tom Mark, his second. Team second. Mark's second personal. CBZ to shoot two. First shot is up and good. Two for two, Chad Baker Mazzara from the line. He had eight in the first half. Now he was limited because of the foul situation early, but eight here in the second half. Nice screen by Patterson on Bird. Ball goes across the lane. And that will be Jaquavian Florence with the three-point bucket. That's the first two of the game for Florence. He had three points in four minutes against Eastern Florida. He's a sophomore from Montgomery, Alabama. Mazar with the ball up top, playing with the dribble. Pull up for the three, and he knocks it down. 
right in Addison Patterson's face. Malachi Davis tries to return the favor, but hard off the back of the iron. Rebound by CBZ. Mazar begging for the ball back. Feeling good right now. Taryn Todd with the ball up, shot up out of the corner. Shot is no good. Malachi Davis with the rebound, pushing the pace up the floor. Cross court pass to Patterson as he attacks the rim. And that'll be a charge call. As we check out the replay. Let's see where that defender was. Was he inside the seat? Mazzara steps over. Nope, he was outside it. And takes it. Addison Patterson will be called for the charge. Good call. Spoke earlier about sacrificing your body. Mm -hmm. That's taking one for the team. Marcus Nyblack receiving the inbound. He gets the ball across the half. Calling for the high screen. CBZ with the ball. He's hit the last couple of buckets. As he pulls up, he's fouled again as he goes out of bounds. That will be on Jaquavian Florence. Florence picks up his first personal. Fourteen foul for Tallahassee. Oh, Chad Baker Mazzara not able to hit the first of his two. Second shot is up and good for CBZ. In the last four and a half minutes of the first half and the first eight minutes of the second half, he has scored 20 points. Leading scorer on the floor. Patterson with 16 for the Eagles, the next highest scorer. Ball goes to the middle to Malachi Davis. He puts it on the ground, gets a couple of dribbles straight to the rack. His right hand layup is good. 59-58, one point advantage. Raiders, as Baker Mazzaro try to use the screen to get open. Nine black plays with the dribble. Taylor will get a poke on it as Davis will get up and send that home. Pryor to bring the ball across the half. Kaysen Pryor with Raekwon Taylor on him. Pryor goes up and he's fouled. Patterson hits the ground pretty hard. See, he's in a bit of pain down there. You see on the replay. Prior driving baseline. Patterson tries to come over to help. Oh, he gets a knee to the thigh. Patterson pick up his third foul. Fifth team foul. That knee to the thigh really gets you. Mm-hmm. At least you can rub those out. Yeah, you just don't want to be still with it. Yeah. You sit still, it gets sore. You get a little stiff. Not as bad as getting plunked in the middle of the, the back for the baseball. Yeah, I'd rather take the knee to the thigh. Depending on whose knee and how fast they're coming. <laughs> right. Same with the fastball and the baseball. True, too. You get hit with a curveball, I think you probably handle that a little better. Yeah. Case and Pryor at the line. He's two for two from the line today. Let's see if that has any effect. Takes his time, his one dribble. Shot is up and good. I like the concentration. 
Studies the rim. Takes a deep breath. Gets that one dribble. Shot is up. He's two for two on this possession. It's four for four right now. And I believe that's our 10th lead change of the game. These young men are going at it. Oh, nice drive by Malachi Davis as prior chasing trying to get the block, but he slides by and layup is good for two. Nine of his 16 here in the second half. All off the bench. As Chad Baker Mazar passes the ball, prior not able to handle that. It's a turnover. Malachi Davis into the paint as he goes from the right to the left. Pulls up with the right hand little runner. 64 61, Tallahassee over Northwest Florida State College. Takai Simpkins with the ball on the perimeter. Passes inside. CBZ with the floater. Comes up short. No call. Florence out of the corner. He did not score in the first half. He's got two three-pointers here in the second half. Just over halfway through the second half. He played at UT Rio Grande Valley last year. That's Division I in Texas. Takai Simpkins attacking the rim. He goes down pretty hard. Lawrence will pick up his second personal. 67-61, Tallahassee over Northwest. We'll be right back after the break. Here at Northwest Florida State College, we are moving the community forward through performers, innovators, leaders, and hometown heroes. Want to be a champion? The best is our standard. As we welcome you back to the action, Tallahassee with a six point advantage right now, 9.38 left in this contest. As we get the stat sheet. Well, Tallahassee pulling away in the paint, 38-22. And we have had 12 lead changes in this one, six ties. The largest lead on both sides, seven for Northwest Florida State, six for Tallahassee. Tallahassee continues to shoot the ball well in the second half. 13 of 20 from the floor, good for 65%. And even though they've only taken seven shots, Northwest is shooting 71%. You gotta get great shot selection. You gotta be able to finish. I said this yesterday and it's always gonna come true. Efficiency, very important. Simpkins to the line to shoot, knocks down the first. His first point since the first half. Three points today. You said uh, Tallahassee starting to take off with the points in the paint. Northwest is stalled right now in the paint. Mm -hmm. Simpkins goes one for two. Rebound by the Eagles. Malachi Davis to bring it up across the half. Pass to the outside perimeter. Shot hits nothing. Tom Marks with the rebound. Florence with the ball in the corner, trying to get to the baseline. Nyblack with a good defense. He'll be called with the foul. Two seconds on the shot clock. Not a wise decision. No. You had solid defense going on. All you got to do is slide your feet. 
And as you mentioned, there were only two seconds on the shot clock when that foul occurred. Malachi Davis with the inbound. Ball goes back to Davis. Scheider, oh, Scheider will be called for the foul on Davis. Jaden Scheider picks up his third personal foul. That is the fourth team foul for the Raiders. Malachi Davis at the line. He hits the first one of two. Only their third free throw attempt of the second half for the game. Tallahassee, eight of 12. Perfect from the line on that possession. Yeah, he's perfect three for three in the second half. Davis right now, leading scorer on the floor, 20 points, one rebound, only with two fouls. Oh, cross-court pass will be deflected. Out of bounds will remain Raiders possession. Substitution into the game for Tallahassee, Addison Patterson, and Okachukwa OKK to return. Nye Black receiving the high screen from Scheider. Ball goes inside, back outside to Terran Todd. Back to the corner to Scheider. He dribbles up. Takai with the last second shot. There will be a foul on the three point attempt. Mm. There was one second on that shot clock yeah. right there. A bit too anxious. Overanxious D right there. So Simpkins is going to get three free throws. They really need to see the ball go through the hoop right now. He's 64% on the year. That'll help. I believe you said that last night, and he hit the, the free throws also. Yeah. Just want to see it go through the basket. Sixty nine sixty four one free throw to go. Free throw line violation. And he made the free uh, throw too. Jaden Scheider just stepped in the lane just a little bit too early. Like you said, Simpkins knocked it down anyway. Sixty nine sixty four. Eagles in control at the moment. Spin into the paint. Oh, KK loses possession. Blocked by Banks as Patterson tries to go up in the lane. Nye Black with this cross court pass. Taryn Todd gets inside. Layup is good. 66 60, 69. One possession game. 10 points for Todd. Eagles with the three. And that's good by Malachi Davis. Wow, that's his first three ball tonight. He pulled it with so much confidence, though. He did. 23 points off the bench for Davis. Heck of a six man. Yes, he is. Taryn Todd with the jab step. Swings it. Ball gets back to Todd, and he knocks down a three of his own. That's his third tray of the game. As Davis pulls another three, he cannot hit. Banks with the rebound, pushing the tempo, trying to get it up the floor. Oh, it should have been a goal 10. No call. Takai Simpkins with the three. Hits the front of the rim. It bounces off hard. Addison Patterson pushing the pace. Oh, offensive foul by Patterson with the push off. That's his fourth. Patterson will receive a technical call. Oh, no. That'll Patterson be, arguing with the floor crew. That's going to be his fifth then. Yeah. 
as you have both teams grouped up. Officials trying to get control, sending each group to the bench. They just threw him out. Patterson is out of here. We're going to go back and check the replay. Patterson pushing the tempo. He gets the rebound, trying to get the ball up the floor. To Kai Simpkins plays D. You see the extension of the arm. So right there is the offensive charge. And then behind that, Patterson has a lot to say on the side. He gets into it with the floor crew. The officials tried to separate that. Then after that, he had more words. So the officials trying to calm it down. Patterson did not want to stop talking. So he was ejected. Well, make a note here. 7.03 to play in the game. Three-point lead when that fourth and then technical foul and then the ejection occurred. And let's see how the game changes. Four free throws. And the ball, right? The yes. You got the double tech? Double, yeah, double tech. Marcus Nyblack going to the line for the technical free throws. He's an 80% free throw shooter. So he had six fouls tonight. <laughs> yeah, NBA numbers. Yeah. Or NBA opportunities, should I say. Nye Black knocks down the first. He'll knock down the second. Two more. High ball game, 72-72, one free throw to go. Oh, as he misses the final of the four technical free throws. Seventh tie of the game. As you hear the crowd giving it up for the Raiders, trying to get them amped, keep them up in it. Well, that doesn't get them amped. You can hear Tallahassee Eagles chanting defense from the bench. Right now, the Raiders need to take their time, be patient with the ball. Simpkins with the ball in the corner. Shot is deflected. Banks with the... Banks by the possession, and he's fouled. Banks will go to the line to shoot two. Tallahassee. Third foul with points. Tallahassee with 10, ten team fouls. Two shots for the rest of the night. Banks missed his first free throw tonight, but he's made three in a row. As he'll keep the trend going. He's got eight points. That's also our 13th lead change. Raiders trying to discuss their defensive assignments before the shot goes up. 74-72, Banks knocks his free throws down. As you hear the crowd chanting defense, ball is deflected by Nye Black. Raiders end up with the possession. Definitely the loudest it's been. Yes, like I said, right now it's about taking your time, taking care of the ball. Nye Black with the ball up top. Nye Black, Simpkins, top. Oh. Banks with the nice, strong layup inside. Nye Black, Todd, Scheider, Simpkins, and Banks into the game right now for the Raiders. Oh, as the hustle, 50-50 ball comes up. 
Raiders get the ball to call timeout. As you hear the arena electrify right now. Well, Essex, it's a 7-0 run since that technical. As you hear the crowd going wild, you see Raiders raising their hands, trying to keep everyone involved. You hear it from the DJ. Let's go, 76-72, Northwest Florida over Tallahassee. We will return after the break. All right, chat, I think that's gonna be the end for tonight's stream. Sorry to cut everything pretty short, but I have a meeting with my academic advisor in the morning. Wait, you're starting classes? Yeah. I actually got accepted to Northwest Florida State College. I started their cybersecurity program in the fall. There's actually a lot you'd be interested in. They have a program where you can actually learn how to fly that drone your mom bought you. Oh, I can't afford that. It's only $104 per credit hour. You won't find a better deal than that. Here, so call this number and they'll actually help you with everything. Back in the house with the action as you see some of the Lady Raiders right there supporting their guys, wanting them to bring the title on home. As you hear the DJ, let's go. Scream, yeah. You know, it's not just the 7-0 run since the technical, but it's also the fact you lose a guy that had scored 16 points, grabbed five rebounds, had five assists, two steals, your best player, one of them anyway, maybe the best player on the team, is gone. And again, just the presence. The presence makes a difference. That's right. Taron Todd plays with the dribble. He gets the ball back up top. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Todd gets into the paint. Pivots, turns, gets back up. Left hand floater up and no good. Shotter with the rebound. Oh, he kicks the bat. Pass up under. Oh, nice block by OKK. 13 seconds on the shot clock again. Nine Black plays with the dribble. Gets into the paint inside. Oh, goes up strong. OKK with another deflection. As you see him bouncing around, feeling good about himself right now. Only three seconds on the shot clock. Raiders got to be aware of the time. Five minutes, 10 seconds left in this contest. Raiders with a four-point advantage. You just got to learn to keep your cool. I mean, he could be a cheerleader on the bench right now for his team. Yeah. At some point, you have to hear the officials trying to calm you down. You have to hear your teammates trying to calm you down. Cool heads always prevail. That's the saying. Yeah. Like you said, had he calmed down, it would have just been his fourth foul. Yeah. Could have went to the bench. Yeah. Eventually came back in, made right. a difference, but instead would not calm down, could not stop talking, so received a second technical. And his team has gone from a three-point lead to now a four-point deficit with five minutes to play in the game. With a championship on the line. On the line, yes. This is the game where you have to remain calm. Yeah. You gotta keep your cool. You see Baker Mazzaro down in the tunnel trying to get loose. Inbound comes to Banks as he pulls up for the three. Not able to connect, but he tries to run the rebound down. Mm. Oh, he hits the back of his head on that wall. He did. Let's hope he's okay. As you see the officials rushing to get to his side. Good to see Banks is up. As you can see, the hustle, he's trying to get to that baseline, trying to recover the ball. Right, Trips how do you, up and slides. How Banks, do you, I'm sorry, coach. Bangs his head right up against that cement wall. Go ahead, Mike. I was just going to say, how do you respond now if you're the Eagles? Five minutes is a lot of time. This game far from over. 
OKK, Mark, Kathy, Harrison, and Davis into the game right now for the Eagles. Davis with 23, leading scorer. And 16 of, in the second half. OKK going up strong, gets the bucket over Scheider. One possession game right now. Again, it's about patience for the Raiders. No need to be in a rush. Swing the ball until you get the look that you want. For the Eagles right now, defensive, oh. Nice rebound and put back for Banks, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for a three-point opportunity. That foul will be awarded to Okachukwa Okeke. That will be his, no, I'm sorry, that's on Tom Mark, his third personal foul. Again, you see Mark's team trying to get, a, get him away from the officials. I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want to just give this away? Or a little under four and a half left, like you said, Mike. Barking at the officials is not the thing to do. It's not going to help you. No. They're not going to change any calls. You're already in the doghouse. You got one player ejected. So, again, at what point do you take heed to basically your team? They're trying to get you to calm down. Yeah. You don't want to. And I think that's what, what Coach Cabrera has to do right now. As we look inside the huddle, Coach DeMaio talking to his team. Yeah, Coach Cabrera really has to get a hold of his guys right now, get, get them back under control. They are the home team tonight, but they are playing in Northwest Florida's home arena. So the home team in a hostile environment down four, a little under four and a half to go. This is the third meeting between the two teams since January the 25th. It's been a two-point game, a two-point game, and now, right now, a four-point game. Four-point game. Northwest will shoot two free throws for the rest of the night. They have only committed 14 fouls. So they have three fouls to give before they even send Tallahassee to the line. So now I try to look at that as a foul a minute, you know. Mm -hmm. Three fouls to give, four and a half left. Pretty good numbers. As Banks follows, finishes up the three-point play. Kathy weaves the ball over to Davis. Davis pulls up the three. He's not, oh, nice rebound by KK. But Banks gets up to deflect it. Wow, what a rebound. <laughs> Major rebound as Simpkins will pick up his first personal foul. Look at him get up. As you see right here on the replay. Okay, K misses his first free throw. As you hear the home, the home crowd giving it to him. Second free throw is up and no good. Taryn Todd with the rebound. Again, patience. Patience is what's needed right now by the Raiders. Ball goes to the corner. Taryn Todd with the ball. Brings it back up. Nye Black with the ball up top. Oh, ball is deflected as he tries to get, find Banks inside. Raiders to inbound from the baseline to Kai Simpkins. Ball comes up top. Three double T receiving the inbound pass. 
puts up a three of his own. Three double T knocks down the three. That's his fourth three of the game. Eight in the first half, eight here in the second half. Isaiah Cathy with the block. He's playing with the dribble. Marcus Nyblack tries to smother him with the defense. Ball goes to the corner to Cathy. He puts up a shot. Bucket no good. Oh, I like that. Taron Todd goes to tie the ball up. Gets inside. Okay, okay, K. Ties up okay, K. Gives him a foul a little bit on the wrist. One more, they'll be in the double bonus, or excuse me, in the bonus. Malachi Davis with the step back. Knocks down the tough three. Wow. Takai Simpkins with a hand in his face. 19 in the second half. 26 for the game. Ball goes up top to Banks. Across to Simpkins. He has OKK on him. Scheider gets into the paint. Oh, nice block by Tom Marks. Takai Simpkins up top on Malachi. Gets into the paint. Ball is deflected. He loses the possession. Tom Mark with the three out of the corner. Shot is up and no good. 2.05 left in this contest, 88, 82 to 77. Crunch time. Nye Black plays with the dribble. It's okay, okay reaching. Nice no look pass. Oh, nice block by Tom Mark. Scheider saying that should have been a goal 10. Thought he had it, got it off the backboard first. Wow. Malachi <laughs> Davis is just unconscious right now. Got about a 25 footer right there. <laughs> wow. Malachi Davis gets the deep three. No effect by the defense. Hand was up. As long as you got him on the floor, you got a chance. Davis with 29 points, OKK with 12, Florence with six, Mark with five, and Kathy with three for the Eagles right now. Taryn Todd with 16, Banks with 14, Nye Black with seven, Simpkins with five, and Scheider yet to score. Two-point advantage right, right now, Northwest Florida, 82-80, up on Tallahassee. Well, just thinking, Coach, I know Andres Bernie had 30 for Eastern Florida State against Daytona State. That might be our high point of the tournament. Do you remember anything over 30? I, I, don't, I don't recall too many people going that far up. Like you said, we have a, a minute 37 left, so Davis is not through yet. I remember 106 to 105. <laughs> yeah, that, that you can't forget. In regulation. In regulation, yeah. That was, in that game, Baker Mazzara had 28. He was the high point man. There were five players in double figures and three other players who had eight apiece. Looking at the numbers, Northwest bench coming up to be a major factor in this game. 21 points off the bench. Tallahassee with 40 points coming off the bench. As Nye Black tries to get into the lane, he will draw the foul. Okay, K picks up his second personal. 
Nye Black hit three of four free throws. Two technicals with 7.03 to play. He's got seven points tonight. Eight points. And that is point number nine for Marcus Nyblack for the evening. Davis let the ball roll across the half, trying to save all the time he can as he sh has a shot fake, loses the defender, gets the ball back. Oh, Nyblack will be called for the reach in. That is foul number seven for the Raiders. So one and one coming up for Davis. Third personal for Nyblack. So it still came out almost like I said. It was like four and a half left. Yeah. So they had three fouls to give. It should be one minute left. Davis knocks down his first free throw. Raiders really got to box out right here. OKK really trying to get inside. Tom Mark jumps out of the gym. Shot is up and good. Prior to inbound, Nye Black receives the inbound. Ball goes back up top to Pryor. Patience right now. Nye Black with the dribble. Taryn Todd kicks it to the corner to Pryor. Gets it to the middle to Banks. Spins inside, puts the ball up. Not able to connect. OKK oh, demands the rebound. 43 seconds left in this contest. Nye Black slips on the defense. Wow. Three point is up and no good. Chad Baker Mazar with the rebound. So close. 27 seconds to go. Call timeout. Timeout needed. Almost over and back. Be a whistle on that Cabrera possession. That it was over and back. It almost was. It was, yeah. Pryor will go to the line. Malachi Davis to pick up his fourth personal. Mm. Can't afford for him to foul out. No. Especially right now. Well, Pryor tonight is four for four from the free throw line. See what kind of effect that has. As you see, Pryor takes his time, pauses, takes the dribble, shot is up. Free throw is good, 85-82. One free throw to go. Gets the ball, studies the rim, takes his breath. Usual one dribble, shot is up. Two for two, two possession game. Oh, and the ball is almost turned over. Todd called for the foul. As Davis will go to the line to Don't shoot. Stop the clock. I, I get what he, as you see right here, the possession is a bad inbound pass. Todd went to go get it, but he fouls Malachi Davis. Right now, box out is a must. You have to box out if you're the Raiders. 82 to 86. Free throw is up, shot is good. Cannot afford to fall asleep right here. Three point game. Advantage Raiders. Malachi Davis shot is up as he knocks down both of his free throws. Timeout is called by TCC. Two-point game, 86-84. Northwest Florida up over Tallahassee at the moment. 16 seconds left. Mike 
Coach. What's the word from the coaches? Malachi, well, right now in the Tallahassee huddle, down two, you go for a steal. You don't have to necessarily foul right away. Press them maybe up to full, uh, half court, but then you're going to have to foul. You've got to meet the ball. Yeah. I would say if you don't get the steal before the half, you got to foul. you got to meet the ball as they inbound it, apply pressure. Yeah. If they do get the ball to half. I mean, because you could keep them in the backcourt. You get a 10-second call. potentially force a 10-second call. Yes. It's just a one-possession game. There you go. I think once you get it across the, the half-court stripe, that's you when foul. you foul. Yes. Yes. I agree with all that information. That's Coach Mike Rideout. <laughs> I've won zero games. <laughs> <laughs> but you can coach plenty of them from over here on the side. Yes. Prior to inbound. Oh, God. Oh, an offensive foul. Wow. Chad Baker Mazzara called with the offensive push. He can't believe it. As the officials come with, with a discussion. As we get the replay right here. He may have been pushed in the back. Let's see here. No, it's still going to. Ah. Yeah. Still, it will be Eagles ball on the baseline out of bounds. 1.5. No, no, okay. No, no, 15, 15 seconds, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah, just a second came off the clock. Say 1.5 was put on the clock. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you play for the tie in overtime? Yes. Yes, right now, every foul I'm going to shoot. I find I'm a way. attacking I, the bucket. Yeah, attack the bucket, maybe uh, OKK inside. OKK or, or my first or option. Davis would be my first my option. My first option is Davis. Yeah, he's he's got to be the first option. I, I like OKK and his strength, his size, but OKK is knocking it out the park. I mean, I'm sorry, Malachi Davis is knocking it out the park right now. Yeah. You do not want to allow the three-point. Oh, as he gets inside, That's travel right. will be called. Yeah. Malachi Davis loses the possession as he falls to the floor. Great sportsmanship by Marcus Nyblack. Yeah. All right, so you got a foul right away here. Timeout by the Raiders. Yes, like you say, 8.3 on the clock. Yeah, go you for don't the have steal. Time. Go for the steal, but commit the foul. Yes. First thought is still. Thought 1A. Thought A is still. Then 8-1A would be still with a foul. Now let's look and see who to foul. Let's, that will, let's, let's see who they put on the floor. On the, yes. But right, right now, now you have Nye Black, Todd, you don't, foul, you don't want to foul Nye Black. You don't want to foul Nye Black. Todd made his last. Todd, 72% on the year. Uh, you don't want to foul Baker Mazzara. You don't want to foul Pryor. Is I'd it foul, Banks? I'd foul Banks. Banks, would you say he's 60-something? Uh, 59%. Yeah, foul, if you can foul you Banks. got to foul Banks. So, me being the Raiders, Banks would either inbound or I would send him down court. Yeah. I'd have him up. He'd come up for the ball, fake for the for the pad and just break out down court. As you hear the crowd, the crowd gets live. What a great way to end our coverage. It is. Started out with a great game Wednesday, ended with a greater game Saturday. This is championship basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, as ball is turned over, Kathy in the lane, ball is turned right back over. Nye Black and Kathy get tangled up. Well, correct he shouldn't, me. He shouldn't have been run, moving. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. That should have been a turnover yes. on the baseline. Yes, he's not supposed to run the he, baseline. He was moving his feet. That was after a turnover, not after yes, a made basket. not after a made bucket. As you see right here, Marcus Nye Black gains possession, and Kathy comes from behind. Not mad at it. You have to foul right now. Yeah. If you don't have the possession, you have to commit the foul. 
Malachi Davis is the only one. Well, yeah, Malachi Davis is the only person I do not want to commit the foul. But with 4.8 left, I want Davis getting the shot. And I'd prefer to have OKK in the paint. Oh, Nye Black misses the first. 4.8 left, 86-84, one free throw to go. Shot is up and good. Great foul right there. They only get to shoot one and one. Make the first, miss the second. Got a box out. No, that's two shots, I'm sorry. That's the double bonus. Isaiah Cathy at the line to shoot two. As you hear the crowd going wild, first shot is up and it's good. 85-87. One shot to go. Box out, so important right here. Off the front of the rim. Pryor with the rebound. As Mazzara is talking to Banks, you don't want, as you look at the replay right here, like you said, trying to get it off the front of the rim. He yeah. hit it off the front quite nicely. But good nice, inside nice position box by out Pryor. By Pryor. Yeah. You see the trap over there on OKK. Banks and Mazzara both pinch, keeping OKK away from the rebound. It seems like an eternity ago, but Pryor had two free throws with 17 seconds to play. <laughs> How long ago does that seem? Yes. It's got to be at least three to five minutes in real time. <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> Pryor with his first shot up and good. 88-85, timeout TCC, Eagles want to freeze the shooter, 1.6 left on the clock, hmm. it's a great game, it is, who really wants it, you know when you start to think about the at-large bids for the national tournament, too. And Tallahassee, I would expect them to be in, win or lose. But I don't know about Northwest Florida State. They may have to win this game in order to make it. Right now, if they can hold on to where they're at, this is the possibility. Stay tuned. The award ceremony is coming up next. Case and Pryor. One free throw to go for the victory. Studies the rim, takes his breath, shot is up. Ball game. That might do her. As long as you don't foul the shooter. Yes. Kathy, I mean, well, Malachi <laughs> Davis with a almost full court heave. And that was almost on target. It was. <laughs> That's a great game. It was. Yes. Malachi Davis put it all on his back. Like you said, it was 7-0-3. They lost Addison Patterson. Malachi Davis put the team on his back. Was not able to carry him through, but he had one heck of a game. 89-85, Northwest Florida State College is your tournament champions once again. Bringing it on home. What a game. Great game. Great night of action. Sorry. Great night of action. Great four, four days of basketball. Guys, girls, we appreciate all the work. We appreciate all the effort. We appreciate all the fans. Enjoy working with you, my man. Mike, is always a pleasure, man. Yes. Can't wait to see you again. Absolutely. RJ, 
Thanks to RJ as well. It's been great, real. Great job. Great producing. tournament. RJ Murdoch does the, all the production. Great job by Mr. Murdoch. Mike Rideout to my right. I'm Essex Rhodes. We have our cameraman in the back. We want to give everybody credit for all the work that they put in. There we go. All right, great We'd like job. to say thank you for your great camera work. Thirty-three points tonight in a losing effort for Davis. Wow. But the thing I don't like, though, he only had two rebounds. But hey, thirty-three points. Did have five assists, though. I can live with it. And how about twenty points for Pryor? Twenty points for Baker Mazzara. Pryor down the stretch. Basketball championship tournament. Hits too big free At this time, we would like to, to present play. the all-tournament the and ice. championship awards. Presenting the awards are goes. Rob Cheney, FCSAA right now, Associate see, Director and Athletics Europe, Commissioner. Ramsey Ross, celebrate Director of Athletics at Northwest Florida champion, State College and, and FCSAA Men's Basketball Chair. What a season. Allison Moore, Associate Athletics Director at Daytona State College yeah. and Chair of the, the FCSAA for you know, Athletic well deserved. Affairs. They knock off the two-time defending state champion yesterday in the semifinals and beat a good Tallahassee team today to win it all. First, Plus, we'd like to recognize members of the FCSAA All-Tournament yes. Team. Yes, they came out with From intentions. Eastern Florida, Andre Bernie. We will let you all watch From the Indian award River, ceremony. Micah Octane. Thank you for tuning in. We'll From check Daytona, you time. Nick McLean. From Miami Dade, Jamichael Stilwell. From Chipola, Cliff Davis. From Northwest Florida State College, Chad Baker Mazzara. From Northwest Florida, Kaysen Pryor. From Northwest Florida State College, Tavion Banks. And from Northwest Florida State College, Marcus Nyblack. From Tallahassee, Malachi Davis. And from Tallahassee, Oki Chupu OKK. And the tournament's most outstanding player is presented to from Northwest Florida State College, Chad Baker Mazzara. And the FCSAA Men's Basketball Runners-Up Trophy goes to the Eagles of Tallahassee Community College. Congratulations to Coach Rick Cabrera and the Eagles on a great tournament. And the 2023 FCSAA and NJCAA South Atlantic District Men's Basketball Champions are the Raiders of Northwest Florida State College. And now, to introduce the coaches and players of our 2023 FCSAA champions. At guard, number two, Marcus Nyblack. At guard, number three, Taryn Todd. 
At forward, at number four, Chad Baker Mazzara. At forward, at number five, Jalen McDaniel. At forward, at number 10, Jaden Scheider. At guard, at number 12, Tawan Simpkins. At guard, at number 14, Sakai Simpkins. At forward, at number 21, Trevon Bird. At forward, at number 24, Tavion Banks. And at forward, at number 42, Kaysen Pryor. The assistant coaches for the Raiders are Adam Sweeney, Nick Fuscio, Cam Parker, and Shadell Millinghouse. And the head coach of the Northwest Florida Raiders, Coach Steve DeMeo. And the FCSAA Men's Basketball Coach of the Year Award is presented to Coach Steve DeMeo of Northwest Florida State College. Congratulations to the Northwest Florida State College Raiders on a great tournament and good luck at the NJCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championships in Hutchinson, Kansas. Once again, thank you for your attendance at this year's FCSAA Men's Basketball Championship Tournament. And we invite you to watch and take pictures as the 2023 champions cut down the nets. <laughs>